Good day, Mech Warriors. Welcome back to Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries. Last time we undertook a few missions, as you do. Came through it with a new Shadow Hawk. And. Yeah, some slightly modified mechs, because that last mission was a doozy! Shit went all kinds of splody. But it's fine. It's fine. Got stuff refitted, and now we're ready to go kick some ass, so without further ado, let's drop. So once again, we're helping out the Davians, because we like the Fox. That's the Davian leader's nickname. Again. So yeah, we're going to go and raid an outpost to help out our boy. Now you notice though, it is a raid this time I brought the Warhammer. Sensors online. Bitch and Betty shutting up. All systems nominal. So the reason I brought the Whammer is that last time we went on a raid and we could not in any way, shape or form handle the enemy forces that were trying to slow us down. So, this time I'm bringing enough firepower to take down a small fucking battalion. Alright, yeah, the other mechs will find their way. Except for maybe any that have the jump jets. Is the Shadow Hawk. Okay, we've got a spider on the field, that's that's okay. You're on bird time, little spider friend. Whoops. Oh man. I'm just getting swarmed. Where's my backup? Oh, good. Alright, he's dealt with. Alright, 
Alright, he has to eject. Sorry, man, but if you're unwilling to eject, I'm gonna have to use the mech caliber 10 opener. I got a little pricey there, but I only lost a medium laser in this. Interested in a fight, Hunchback? So I'll give you one.
revenge. It is a dish best served AC20. Don't worry, I know mistakes have been made. Took a lot of damage. Let's see if any of it was worth taking. Damn. Yeah, well. Looks like everyone else came out of it fairly fresh, though. to the Tripoli system and see what's on offer. He could not pay me enough to operate the K9, sorry. Alright. Let's get repairs affected. The only thing we lost was a medium laser then. Oh, and a heat sink. Okay, man. What a tragic loss. Let's shuffle on over to the next system. And we have an assassination to do. And where the game is going to promptly shit itself. Pilot Freeman is back, so let's get him in. We'll have him in the number two position though, because he is the bestest boy. Let's see, the 15th Deron regulars represent a huge obstacle to our current plans for getting a firm foothold in the Deron military district. Second battalion is blindly devoted to their commander, Taisa Saito. There's been rumoured to be contracting mercenary forces for nefarious purposes of his own. Slipping behind enemy lines and eliminating 2nd Battalion's commander, and preferably as many of his command staff as possible, will break the battalion's morale and shatter the 15th. Well, I do love me a good shatter. So, let's see what we can do. In just a couple of short, fast-forwarded moments. Oh, uh, wait a minute, I haven't painted the Shadowhawk. <laughs> let's, let's fix that while we're waiting. 
I'm gonna go with some lovely tiger stripes, but I'm gonna go with something a bit more orange, I feel. Never been orange. Now it just looks like an angry wasp. There we go. Angry tiger shadow hawk is angry. That'll do it. Let's go. So, pretty simple mission statement here. We're going to go bump off a Karita Commander, a Tysa, which I believe is... I think Tysa is... Nah, no, it can't be Captain. That's show, sir, isn't it? Ah. I forget. It's it's a rank. There's a Battalion Commander. It's probably be Major or Colonel? Online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Alright, time to get our hands dirty. Your target is Ty Star Richard Sato, a nasty fellow. He's as revered by his subordinates as he is feared by his foes. Prepare for him to be well protected. Yeah, let's go kill Tricky Dick Saito. It's always fun getting to have, you know, little chats with people during the succession wars. Okay, we're going down. I had rear armor a minute ago. How did this asshole get a royal griffin? Okay, right. I feel the mistakes were made there. So I'm going to go ahead and rectify as many of those mistakes as I can. So, the 
first big mistake I made. Jumping off the mountain into that locust. Because I didn't realize he had, like, an entire company of backup. Then I got stuck into this duel with the assassin while getting pounded in the back. Which, you know, is not, um, pleasant. Uh, double tapping my auto cannons together was causing some serious heat issues. So I may need to calm that down a little bit if I want to survive. We'll see if this attempt goes any better. I would have just suffered through the losses there, but that was going to be online. catastrophic. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems phenomenal. Not entirely sure I would have had a way to recover from that. Your target is Tysar Richard Sato, a nasty fellow. He's as revered by his subordinates as he is feared by his foes. Prepare for him to be So we're gonna wrap around the south. I'm just going to take things a little slower this time. So the only way is down here. It's probably still gonna hurt a touch. Where are these plants finding water? Okay, no, it looks it looks like my shock absorbers handled most of that. Focused. Right, we're not going to get bogged down. Who wants to fight? We'll let it fight on our terms. One.
damn. I was hoping to take that griffin intact. Oh, really? Who put an auto cannon on a fire starter? Hopefully that assassin decides it isn't worth the fight. So that is uh, an example of how discretion can be the better part of Valor. Instead of getting bogged down into the nasty fight, we took it around the flank, we took the fights on our terms. Suddenly, everything got a little bit easier. Bonus points, we get that griffin. Oh well. Ooh, a free double heat sink though. Another class four JJ. Alright. So wasn't particularly smooth. We got a couple of bits and pieces. Alright. What's the next job? Uh, I think we'll take Ronel next. So we're going to head over to Markab first for repairs. Once we've got our refits planned out, we'll see what we can do. Intact rifle, and that is fresh. It's also ridiculously expensive. Because the Drax, as it turns out, hate our fucking guts. Alright, I'm just gonna sell this one as is. I'm really gonna hope we don't need too much from here. I'm going to take the spares of the things that we, you know, always run out of. And we're just going to get repairs locked in. I've got to go check. Even though the Drex don't like us, I have to go see what this mech is. The fact is, if it's within our price range and it's decent... I may be tempted. Hmm. Technically within our price range, but not not worth, right? Grab spare parts. And through you go to the run L system.
Working for Karita. We're not going to get much from this. Um... We'll get something. Fact is, it will pay the bills. So we will accept it. And I'll be right back after these short lighting screens. Looks like we're ready, let's go. So another assassination. Attention. Another fuel who needs dealing with. Hangar doors opening. Clear. Let's go give him what we've got, eh? Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems phenomenal. All right. Today's target is Ty E. Hester Troy. He's defected from the Draconis Combine and is now working as a mercenary among a group called the Blue Star Irregulars. This is a big bounty, so let's cut in on it. Looks like we got some bad intel. Our target is not here. Let's hope we have better luck at the other locations. So we don't really care about taking our targets alive in this one. So we ain't getting any bloody salvage anyway. Looks like our boy is in a missile hunchback. Interesting choice of fighting machine. Done. Turn to go before we lose any important pieces. is not a very welcome sight.
God damn it. I need to adjust some armor onto that arm. So I keep losing the arms and it's getting embarrassing, you know? Yeah, well, job done, though. Yeah, alright. I'll take a mech if you're off for him. Probably could have done it a little cheaper. Alright, next up is Tigris. Um. We're gonna go via Northwind. This is like a bit of a weird course, I know. But we are still looking for another mech to round out the second lance. For those who haven't seen any of my other Battletech stuff, by the way, a lance is a unit of four battle mechs. And we're not finding what we want here. Alright, Locust, be gone. Pal Beast. There's pretty sample. The only thing that lost anything was this map. Poor for small lasers, I'm not using ended up armor in a bit, I think. I, I say not using, barely using is the more correct. Lots of mechs for sale around these parts. Okay, let's see what CAF has to offer me. Since CAF is orange, that means it is a Federated Suns system. Which means that this mech will have a nice little price reduction. Hmm. Alright, that XL instantly rules it out. Unfortunately, these guys probably like us, so we'll take a very quick. Over here, blue means we're in House Steiner Space, the Lyran Commonwealth. They have historically fairly close ties with the Davians, so. Okay. Everyone else is a bit naff. That is a tasty little piece of hardware. But so is this. We're gonna go for it. However, 300 standard. bit pricey. I thought we'll probably just leave it as it is. Alright. So, um, is it, who puts a heat sink in the cockpit? I mean, really? Not sure about this large laser. No, 
Sadly, we need more tonnage. Armor um, can't go up that much. There, right, here's a thought. Let's slap those in. A couple of extra heat sinks. So, I need a heavy lance. We run with this. When I need a lighter lance, we run with. We run with this. I'll keep the dragon aside for myself because I deserve it. I am the commander. Fuck anyone who disagrees. Right. Away! most important part, however, we now have two lances, which means we can take on double mission contracts without having to drop in short. Thankfully not the situation here. Gonna sit with the same lance, it served us well enough last time. Hopefully it will not let us down again, but while we're thinking, let's go and paint the Dargon. Paint it in virus. All green and nasty. Nice. It's a very happy looking machine of war right there. Come on, I can say some of these. The hunchback just looks weird. The shape, it's a bit too blocky, you know, it would stand out against a lot of backgrounds because of that shape. Plus, it couldn't exactly, you know, drop to the ground and just fire its arm weapons because, well, it doesn't really have arm weapons. <laughs> ah, well. Enough chatting shite from me. Let's go. Attention. Prepare for mass departure. Warning. Hangar doors opening. Stand clear. Alrighty. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online! All systems, ready to go fuck up some traitors, boys! Our target, David Asumi, is allegedly the orchestrator of this little defection. No doubt House Karita wants to make an example of him, but they don't dare operate in this system out of fear of causing an international outcry. So that's where you come in. Alright then. Let's get good and gone. It's quiet. Too quiet.
Okay. That was a bit of a storm. Sorry I went quiet there. I was trying to focus. I need to get away from that Vindicator fast. not pulling its punches today it seems. But we did what was asked of us. Taking home another locust. A little upset that allegedly we were fighting against the Davians there when we weren't. We're fighting against mercenaries, but you know. A couple of auto cannons. Bah. Pretty lousy. Alright. Uh. Turn around to Almac and then over to Barstow, I think. Hello, gorgeous. You're yeah, shouldn't exist right now. Okay. Well, so there's a reasonable chance I can't afford that. Oh, yeah. We'll fix shit and. Yeah, let's go. Nah, no worry, I boot. Yeah, pending transmission, a cunning decoy. That's rather a lot of money. And we're fighting pirates, and oh my god, that's a lot of difficulty. Okay. So, Shadowhawk's sitting this one out. 
because we're going to bring in the dragon instead. Gets it a little close to the right amount of tons. On paper, this is the hardest mission we've undertaken yet. In action, we'll find out after this small amount of fast forwarded loading time. Right then, let's do this, shall we? Abandoned raiders known as Jessup's Avengers patrol this system as if they're the ones running this space. As such, they're likely to pounce on any sign of activity from Avalon shipping. They're probably thinking that they can pick apart the convoy's low-level security detail. But unfortunately for them, they're going to run into you. Damn right they are. Is our defense position. They have detected your presence, Commander. I'm seeing multiple tangles on the skull converging on your current position. Locust, get your ass back here. Don't recall saying you could leave. Okay, there's the primary target right there. Now, I need to hope the dragon pilot is sensible and clever. Because there is some very expensive hardware in there. Okay, that needed to die. Just 
stupid large laser cicada. Jack. I mean, I think that wall's gonna protect you there, little buddy. How did that miss? That didn't. Fun man, and again, away. Crap is primary. Can't see. Yes, they liked me. going to take a while. Immediately. Commander, do you read me? 
Um, um, <laughs> hmm. I'm going to go ahead and say that's probably not good. Contract fulfilled. Oh boy. Oh boy. That was Peric. Let's find out just how balls we are. That is a beautiful little commando, just throwing that out there. Right, uh... This card goes. Okay, let's start with this. Lost a sink. And an AC-10. You... Lost an ML in each arm. Sounds very see ten ammo. You also lost an AC ten. So that was all for you, okay. You, however, are fucked. Right, seventy Let's see if they've got a suitable engine for this. That's the size we want. That puts its speed back up to what it should be. Now, as for armament... Right, let's completely strip it and see what we've got. Twenty-seven and a half tons. Right. Then we're gonna transition this into something a little more traditional. Not 
completely traditional. That gives it back its move speed that it should naturally have. Firepower drops quite considerably. But I think I prefer this. <sighs> we do actually have enough money left over for the death knell. If I ever wanted to go maximum zoom, however, I don't think I'm going to bother. Alright. Next time, folks, we'll be heading over to the Listowel system. That's probably where you'll meet me at the start of the next session. And I'll be taking on this other Warzone contract, hopefully without quite the explosion that just happened. So I hope you've enjoyed this, hope you're still enjoying this whole thing. Uh, if you are, you know, do all that YouTube stuff and let me know. However, well today as I pan around the galaxy looking to see what's going in. That's it, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye for now. Hi there, hope you enjoyed watching this video today, if you have, Make sure you do all that lovely youtube -y stuff, the liking, the commenting, the subscribing and such. Give me plenty of feedback. Let me know what you want to see and what you didn't like. If you want to watch more videos in this series, there'll be a link to the playlist on the left. And if you just want to watch something of mine, there'll be a link on the right. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.